Well, who hasn't forgotten a name or two when telling a story or meeting somebody? Not you. Never, never. <laughs> well, for everyone else, we have the two-time Guinness World Record holder for the greatest memory here today to show us how to improve your memory, okay? So please welcome, what's his name? <laughs> Dave Farrell. Come on, Dave. memory I almost instantly forget somebody's name they tell me and it's gone well I'm here to help I'm here to help and, and, and you know what anybody can get good at this of course I'm doing an extreme example here mm -hmm. but anybody can learn how to remember people's names you actually have the talent you just have to have you know the skill it's, it's kind of like you have this amazing car in your head but you just mm -hmm. don't know how to drive it mm -hmm. so you're like pushing it down the street that's kind of so a you started of this as a, as a young boy because you had sort of a problem right? yeah a lot of people think I was like gifted I was playing the oboe at six or something crazy like that but uh -huh. actually I was I was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia in high school mm -hmm. uh, you know as you know those sorts of things affect your self-esteem, sure. self-worth. Yes. So I looked to find every solution I could possibly find. I found some great solutions. I invented some new techniques. and one of the first people to actually do that. And uh, this is something that, it's more than a parlor trick. It's something that you can really use. And, of course, we need to use it nowadays because, you know, So do you don't... want to tell us how you're doing this or do you want to demonstrate it first? Shall we go to first? Okay, let's yeah, right, Here's what he did while the show was in progress. All he right. was going around during commercial breaks, spending a little time with the audience and, yeah, I remember and getting everyone's there. name and hopefully Irene. remember it right now. So I tell you what, I am going to, uh, how about, well, I don't know, how about that gentleman in the yellow shirt up there? Why don't you stand up, sir? What's this guy's name? Yellow shirt. Oh, man. I, I, I missed, I missed that one. Did you? How about, how about this uh, young boy here? Young, young boy. Oh, that's Mark. Oh, oh nice. Mark. Hey, Mark. Hi, how are you doing? There's a, uh, there's a, uh, uh, a pretty blonde is sitting right in front of Mark. Well, you got to narrow it down here a little bit. Can <laughs> you stand up? Stand up? Uh, you uh, that's Josephine. The, the top of the name actually was Stavrula right there. Stavrula? <laughs> Hi, Stavrula. All right. Yeah. And she's, she's sitting uh, with uh, with uh, Anthe and uh, Tony and, of course, Mark. And she was, uh, Let me ask you a question. I would think Stavrula would be easy to remember because that's such an atypical name. It's not a well, name you hear yeah, all the time. There's lots of times when you encounter someone's name and you think, oh, I have a cousin with that name or my brother's that name or something. You just assume that you're going to do, you know, you're going to do a great job. But unless you actually uh, find a way to imagine and visualize it and link it, then you're not going to remember it. I'm going to tell you guys a few secrets on how to do that. Well, Gelman wants one more from the audience. How about this lady over here with the glasses, she's four, four seats in, lady. Oh, the lady. white shirt. Well, I, yes. I saw the lady Could you stand up, up, lady? Yes, oh, sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's uh, it's Mr. and Mrs. Myers, and that's um, um, uh, Shirley. That's correct. All right. Wow. Good. All right. Now you're showing me something. And Karen beside and Eric are all Can together. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Shirley, when, when, when you saw Shirley, what linked Shirley into your head? Because yeah. I look at Shirley, and you to me look like a Marie. <laughs> and that is the biggest mistake people make with names is they see what does this person look like you know right. they look at me do mm -hmm. they look like a mic or something and the first thing you should actually do is try to find some way to imagine the name if uh -huh. you find somebody who doesn't look anything like their name it'll actually stand out so much that you'll remember it mm. so so let me for example like my name's Dave mm -hmm. so think of a wave knocking me over and the next time right. you see me you'll remember that wave yeah. my last name's Pharaoh so of course you might think of like Mia Pharaoh so if mm -hmm. you think of yeah. a, a wave knocking Mia Pharaoh over then uh, then you remember that I'm actually distantly related to Mia Farrow, so okay, it actually works. That's a good way to do it now. You know, he has two world records in the Guinness World Record book for, for memory work. We're going to put him through the pace. <laughs> this is how I think but you... But this is a real challenge yeah, this here, because we're on challenge. camera Ten and Ten decks of yeah. cards, you know, 50, uh, 52 cards. So you've memorized all these decks of cards. Yeah, they're all in, shuffled in the randomly order they by volunteers. Are. So what we have to do now is pick out one deck... You, you pick out a deck, and I'll find it in my head. Like, like the, fir the first bunch, in the, oh, oh, pick, pick a deck, we'll do with the first few in that deck. We'll do the uh, deck number nine, then. Okay, number all nine. All right, all right. So, number nine. Um, okay, so uh, we start off with... Um, um I start off with uh, the ten of hearts, then the um, yeah from the top, and then after that would be the five of spades. Then Watching the, this folks, close up. Then the uh, no, sorry, the jack of clubs, Eddie. the seven close of up. hearts, um, and then after that we have the uh, eight of hearts, there and then you go. Uh, and then that'll be the uh, queen of clubs, then the five of diamonds, right. then the uh, then the um, king of clubs, the ten of spades, oh my God, this guy's the uh, money, nine of hearts, the, the three of spades, and the uh, four of hearts, uh, and then 
Thank you very much. Wow, pretty darn good. Yeah. So look, and so this is. Thank you very much. Nice job, David. <laughs> so, so this is real. I mean, obviously, I'm not infallible. I can't, you know, never make a sure. mistake. Right, sure. But it, what it does is it brings you to such a level. It really, uh, what I can show you how to do is really use your brain to its utmost limit. And, and we have to. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to. And we're going to do that as soon as we come back, okay? Absolutely. We're going to improve your memory when we come back. Right. Mr. Reed. Well, with Dave Farrow here, a memory expert. Everybody has a little problem with their, their memory, so let's get some tips now. How do you remember a person's name? Sometime in the middle of the show, yeah. you know, it, it, it evades us. This is a skill, and I don't expect you guys to learn it overnight, so that's why I say play around with it. Have fun uh -huh. with it right now. So if you meet somebody named Mike, that's a simple name. Okay. Think, imagine him carrying a giant boom mic, like a giant boom microphone. You know, you meet someone named, um, you know, Tom, you think like like a cat. Imagine like a cat scratching uh -huh. them or something. All right. Make it interesting make it weird that's why i say make it a costume if it's right. boring your brain will forget about it and that's really important for kids as well you were asking about your kids right and and that's really important kids catch on to this so well even even faster than adults right because the same part of your brain that act activates memory is your creative centers as well does it work for when you lose an item you know a key or something you can't remember where it was oh, oh i got something great for that i was if you always lose something try this like try this just right after you get off the show right away try this next time when you set something down a Imagine that somebody put a firecracker on it and it explodes. I kid you not, it sounds silly, but if you just put it on a coffee table and you imagine that my keys have a firecracker on it and they go boom, then you can go throughout your whole day oh. the next day and okay. you, think, you think of your keys, immediately that explosion pops into your head mm -hmm. and it always works every single time. Now if you've already forgotten it, you have a mental block and generally what people do is they're saying, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, and, and they're hitting that block again like a fly hit in the window, it sure. doesn't work. Sure. The way to get around a mental block is to ask yourself questions. This is a technique I developed called shadow memories uh -huh. and basically you ask yourself questions that you know the answer to. Like, you know, how many keys do I have in the keychain? Who gave me that keychain? Things like that. By the time you get to the third or fourth question... That will question, bring you to the keychain. Yeah. So ask yourself things that you do know to get to what you don't know. Do and that you have you to remember. exercise your brain to really capture this whole theory? Oh, yeah. It's very important to exercise your brain. And actually, people who are more physical, you can actually exercise your brain by exercising your body, too. We actually have something called the, the brain dance or the memory dance oh, that yeah? I'm going to get you to help me out with here. So okay. you take a workout, you'll feel better, yeah. and your brain well, will actually, function better. Any sort of any sort of dance move or martial arts kata, any sort of moves that you have to remember in a row will stimulate okay. your brain. Right. But we're going to do one that actually helps connect the two hemispheres of the brain together. Okay? Right. So the way you do that physically, literally, is when I move my right arm, I'm using the left hemisphere. When I move my left arm, I'm using the right hemisphere. So if I connect the two like this, like this, so follow with me here. Yeah. One, two, and then behind. One, two. Alright, no, no, wait but a cross, minute. cross them. There you go. See, it, it's working. You cross them opposite. Yeah, this, this is all a right. lot of fun. Okay. Try the elbows here. Try the elbows. Okay. Now try to do it all in a row. Okay, so yeah, one, okay. one, two, one, two, one, two, and then clo as close as you can. Close as you can. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. Now let's do it. Let's do it real and quick. There's the key right there. Alright, we get done, Dad. For more information on how to improve your memory, go to our website for Dave Farrow, okay? Information on him. Thanks, Dave. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll be right back in a moment. Your name is Kelly. Right.